Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Trick, a Japanese television series that is a hybrid of mystery and comedy. Uh, the show lasted for three seasons, which aired between 2000 and 2003, and also contributed a handful of related films, both theatrical and made for television. So a physics professor enlists the help of a magician to expose the tricks behind false spiritualists. So uh, Naoko, Naoko uh, played by Yukie Nakama, came to Tokyo to become a great magician, just like her father. Unfortunately, her career isn't exactly taking off, and not many people come to see her shows. She believes that all supernatural powers and phenomena can be explained as a form of tricks or deceptions. So by chance, she meets Ueda, played by Hiroshi Abe, who claims himself as the world's smartest physicist. So the two unite to take down corrupt psychics, cult groups, and fortune tellers, and solve mysteries uh, involving haunting beliefs and inexplicable events. So first and foremost, the two lead actors in Trick are outstanding. And since this series revolves entirely around them and their interaction, that proves to be a huge reason why this series um, was so successful in its home country. So I've mentioned before on my channel that Hiroshi Abe is probably my favorite Japanese actor, mostly because he has impeccable comedic timing, and he also has shown that he can do drama, action, and basically anything. Trick represents one of his signature roles, because he does such a fantastic job of portraying like a self-centered, conceited dude who is infinitely likable and hilarious at the same time. His style of humor kind of ebbs and flows between very dry sarcasm, witty banter, and physical comedy, so it's a fantastic performance by him. Our lead actress, Yukie Nakama, does not do much in the realm of theatrical film, her career is predominantly in the, in the realm of television, both series and movies. She's perfectly cast in Trick. As a smart but klutzy protagonist, I really like how her character is written, too, because these corrupt cult leaders do get the better of her at times with their tricks. You know, they'll make something disappear in a seemingly impossible way to prove to their, you know, their supernatural power to their followers in these villages. And she'll initially have no idea how they perform the trick. So it makes it very easy to root for her throughout the series. She meets challenges. She doesn't just go through and just easily be like, oh, that's a trick because of this. That's a trick because of that. You know what I mean? She, she has challenges right from the start. And uh, Nakama's portrayal of this character is just spot on. It's perfect. She also has great comedic timing and chemistry between her and Abe is just off the charts. Uh, it's so much fun watching these two interact with one another. And they bust each other's chops a lot too. You know, they do these real quick little uh, quip, quips and insults around, you know. So it's really fun. And there's no doubt as well that some of the fun of this series stems from the viewer attempting to figure out how these tricks are performed. In some cases, they are simplistic and totally realistic. Uh, in other cases, the difficulty of actually executing some of these tricks does stretch the bounds of believability a little bit. Uh, but it's a fun experience either way, you know, given the high level of humor that's sustained all the way out. Also, soundtrack is excellent and very unique. It does use some unorthodox instruments. It almost has like a, like a medieval carnival vibe to it that I really liked. There's a two-disc anniversary edition CD on Yes Asia that I purchased a few years ago, and I listened to it quite a bit, especially during the autumn months. It has like that medieval carnival vibe, and there are a few, a few uh, uh, tracks that are a bit creepy, too. Now, the editing in Trick is weirdly effective, too, with its quick cuts. So a scene, uh, this is mostly used for scene transitions. Uh which will occasionally be abrupt, but those edits are used to really stick some of the humor. It's kind of hard to explain how they do it, but like the dryness of some of the comedy feels accentuated with a quick edit that immediately follows the, the final quip of the conversation. Um, it's almost like, uh, you know, when you're watching the conversation, the, 
you know, they hit with like the insult and then bam, you're somewhere else. And it, it's almost like they do it under their breath. So it kind of accentuates that under the breath insult that they throw at each other. So I really like that. It's kind of a signature style of this television series and I think it works really well. Uh, in terms of flaws, one thing that I noticed is that the locales are frequently desolate villages and uh, that are that are in the forests. And uh, there is a little bit of sameness and repetition to some of the episodes because of this. Now, there are a handful of conflicts that do take place in the city, too, so they do mix it up a little bit. But I can't imagine maybe some viewers getting a little bit tired of the forced village environments. It does make sense given the premise of the series, though. You know, these... These uh, con artists target small patches of people that they can influence. Uh, not a big flaw, though. One other thing I noticed is that the final two episodes of season one are not as good as the episodes that preceded them, because the focus is more on solving the mystery of the death of our protagonist's father. So the emphasis on tricks and Hiroshi Abe's character is minimized in those two episodes. Now, I have not rewatched seasons two and three recently, but I think every episode in those seasons goes for like the bread and butter that makes the series so great. So if you are disappointed in maybe the final one or two episodes of season one, I don't think you should worry because there's plenty of great stuff in seasons two and three. It just goes right back to the, you know, the tricks and the, the format of the first eight or so episodes of season one. So I strongly recommend Trick. Uh, it's a great effort by director Yukihiko Tsutsumi, I think, who directed uh, 2LDK, uh, the film. And it's a fantastic gateway into J-dramas. If you've never seen a J-drama, this is a good one to start with. One thing you will notice, however, is that Japanese television series are harder to find with English subtitles than Korean television series in the United States. Uh, I can't remember where I purchased my Trick TV series, but I do see that Zoom Movie... Uh, still has copies available, and you can also find some copies on eBay. I checked DDD House that uh, uh, Corey from Pieces of Work usually recommends, and I've used recently, and they have a good selection of J-dramas there, but they did not have Trick, which was a bit disappointing. So, you know, you may have to look around a little bit, but Trick is uh, is a good one. And as always, I will see you next time.